So, hi guys, this is Marginus, and the Gears of War 3 beta. Um, just a little bit about me, I guess. I kind of grew up with Gears, you know, uh, back when Gears 1 first came out, and that's, I played that offline before I had Xbox Live, and then I started playing game battles, but, um, I was the first person to actually make the Locust Origin Theory, where the Locusts came from in Gears of War, and, uh, yeah, never try that with a day or launcher. It never goes through that one wall there. But, um, I don't know, I'm uh, just a really big Gears fan. So you see right off the bat I'm playing uh, just regular TDM. Uh, King of the Hill and Capture the Leader aren't uh, out in the beta yet. I got the beta early though, so I get to play a bit of uh, King of the Hill and such uh, before the 18th. So, you know, I have Baird unlocked, I have the Cantus unlocked. Um, and I'm using the sawed off shotgun. A lot of people kind of like the Nasher because it's uh, more pro or whatever I guess because uh, whatever. Um, has more shots and you have to actually aim it but the sawed off is just really easy to use and I've, I'd only played uh, like one or two games at this point so I, I'm just kind of taking it easy and using the sawed off. See like right there Nasher can easily kill any guy with sawed off. It really doesn't matter. I don't know where I left off, but, um, yeah, I, uh, played a bit early. I got a quote off Twitter, one of the lucky few to get that. And, uh, right here I'm using my, uh, Retro Lancer and we saw it off. Retro Lancer is pretty fun sometimes. But, uh, for most of this game I'm actually just pouring out the, uh, power weapons here. I'm always going for the bigger launcher and using that. And, uh... I'm gonna tell you right now, guys, uh, I don't have that amazing of a score, but uh, I do get some pretty cool kills, and I, I think that's more of what Gears is all about, is getting the cool kills, not if you go positive, negative, if you get a huge KD, or if you just get MVP. Um, it, none of that really matters. I think it's just if you get some cool kills. And so, um, TM, uh, I, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have probably already gotten over this if you've uh, watched any Gears videos, because it seems like a lot of people are kind of new to the franchise, I guess, but... Watch this. <laughs> That's wrong time to pop around cover, sir. Uh, but a lot of people uh, probably haven't played Gears, because you don't see a lot of it on YouTube. Um, but I mean, Gears of War kind of started off the montage thing. Uh, a lot of people don't really remember. It's like, oh, Call of Duty montages and Halo montages. I, I think I really actually saw some Gears of War montages first, and... There are a lot more Gears fans than people realize, and it, it, it really is a great game. And like you see here, magical, <laughs> magical kill. I, I to this day do not know how I knew where that guy was or where this guy was. I, I'm just really, I, I have some kind of sixth sense, I guess, with Gears. <laughs> but uh, TDM, uh, going back, uh, is based on lives, not kills like most other games. So there you see me just show off a little move where uh, you pick up a downed enemy and then take him with one of his own grenades and kick him forward. Don't know why I did that, just for fun I guess. Um, but it's based on lives, so your life meter kind of counts down or whatever until you run out and then of course the guy's still alive, win. And then you play another round and it goes along the same way. Instead of going to like uh, 50 kills and you know you try and get kills and when somebody reaches the max amount of kills they win. It's really not really any different but I, I mean I, I think it should be based on the kills. But I mean they're giving it their own touch. I'm fine with that. So we won the first round and now we're going to be playing a second one. Uh, the other modes are Capture the Leader and King of the Hill. Uh, King of the Hill is kind of like Annex from Gears 1 or Gears 2. Uh, by, the, by the way, Gears 1 is really my game. It's Gears 2 I wasn't so much a fan of. A lot of people kind of feel that way, but I played a bit of Gears 2 and then I just kind of stopped. Um, that Scorcher Flamethrower there where the digger was last round. Uh, that's actually really nice in the beta and I used that a bit, but I want to get some one-shot footage here. So, just wait for him to throw the grenades and waste them off. This is a one-hit kill anywhere. <laughs> it's a pretty amazing weapon. But uh, the thing you have to worry about is that it takes a while to charge up. And then 
also when you aim down the sights there, it it gives a <laughs> large red beam and makes a really loud noise, so people know, oh shit, he's aiming at me. And uh, I just really kind of wanted to get some footage of that, so I'm just waiting here and using it. I mean, there's no need to really rush out there much and, you know, get some deaths. It's just, uh, just play it safe, take some time here. Like I said, this is probably like my third game of the day or whatever. Um, yeah. Um, so here I'm using the Retro Lancer, you can see I talked about that a bit earlier. And the Retro Lancer is a very short range weapon. Um, the regular Lancer is kind of a very support weapon. And, uh, and really is good for suppressing fire, but it's not necessarily that powerful. When you go to the Hammer Burst, that goes, <laughs> that can shoot amazingly fast if you got a fast trigger finger, and it's incredibly powerful and incredibly accurate. So that will kind of uh, be better than any other gun at long range, and it's pretty good at close range too. But for the Retro Lancer, I really like that just because my personal preference. <laughs> Look at my teammate save right there. Um, because I'm a really close range player most of the time, and Gears 1 I used to be pretty good at sniping, but... I don't do that much anymore, and I'm really uh, kind of a close range fighter, and the Retro Lancer is really powerful and uh, pretty inaccurate, so that's pretty um, pretty close range weapon, and that kind of fits my play style more. Plus, if you have the uh, sawed off, when you run out of ammo, you want to have a secondary weapon that you can switch to in close range, so really the Retro Lancer is the number one thing you want there. When you have a Nasher, then you can usually uh, switch off to the Hammer Burst. Uh, so I also have the gold-plated Retro Lancer. <laughs> That's uh, you get that from playing like 90 matches and stuff. I have everything unlocked. You also see I have the camo on my uh, sawed off. You can get that by playing some King of the Hill or Capture Leader or something. That'll be out later in the beta period. Um, so yeah, it's uh, Gears of War 3. I'm really excited because. Gears of War 2, like a lot of people, I just really wasn't that big of a fan with it. Uh, it, it. It just slowed down and the controls were a bit weirder. And I think part of what makes it different from Gears 1 also is the kind of perspectives. And that's in Gears 3 too, um, where you kind of switch around and you have the smaller field of view. And But I, I guess that's uh, not that important. Gears 3 itself though plays like a mixture between Gears 1 and Gears 2, and it really works well. I, I mean, I still have more fun with Gears 1, but I've, I've come to realize that y you're not going to have another copy of Gears 1. It, they're going to keep some improvements, and some of them I really like. Like, uh, some of the executions, like the Scorcher Flamethrower, you uh, shove it into them when they're down, and light them, uh, light them on fire, fire comes out of their mouth, and everywhere. It's, it's really cool. Some of those executions I actually kind of put suggestions for on the forums. And, I don't know, Gears 3 has turned out to be a really good game. So you can see here I'm trying to blind fire the uh, one shot. You, you cannot do that. <laughs> you cannot do that apparently. I'm kind of waiting here. I'm trying to uh, get these guys randoms I'm playing with who uh, don't have their mics plugged in. By the way, play with your mics plugged in if you play the beta. Um, but I'm waiting for them to kind of down him, and then I can try out the one-shot execution. I haven't tried that out yet. But, uh, yeah, that's the end of the match, I guess. So, highest KD, fewest deaths, highest point total, I'm MVP, I guess. Um, but, I, I mean, it's just an average game, and it, it really is fun. Seriously, try out the beta. All you gotta do is Gear to Gears 3 and get access, and it's really fun.